Modeling data out of Saskatchewan predicts that province will not get down to sustainable levels of COVID-19 cases until at least the start of 2022, if more restrictions are not put in place. And the province's top doctor broke down in tears while presenting the data during a teleconference. Uh, there's mention that, you know, Dr. Shah just pleads to the public and he doesn't direct an order, but I have no shame in pleading to the public that, you know, we've, we've gone so far and, you know, we're, we just have to pull along for the next few weeks and months. And, you know, it is distressing to see what is happening in our ICUs and hospitals. And I'm sorry, I, you know, it's a very challenging time. Saskatchewan continues to have the highest death rate among all provinces and has started transferring patients to Ontario as the health authority runs out of hospital beds and staff. Joining me now with more is Dr. Hassan Masri, ICU physician and associate professor of medicine at the University of Saskatchewan. Uh, Dr. Masri, when you heard the chief medical health officer um, break down earlier today, what went through your mind? Um, it is very difficult to hear our chief medical officer uh, speak like this and talk about our ICUs being really full. Um, uh, however, this has been predictable. Uh, this We got here uh, because of the fact that we don't have adequate public health measures till today. Um, and this government uh, needs to act quickly um, and swiftly. Uh, other people, uh, otherwise people are going to die, unfortunately. And otherwise people's cancer surgeries and heart surgeries and brain surgeries um, are being canceled. Dr. Masri, what could the province do right now, like stat, first thing tomorrow morning, what would you love to hear from the Premier? Well, there's a very, very, very unfortunate and uh, uh, serious story developing in the last one hour um, out of Saskatchewan. The Premier has instructed his government to cancel all future out-of-province uh, transfers. Uh, we were uh, setting up and we were ready to move a few more patients to Ontario uh, in the next few days. We, By the end of today, the sixth patient would have been transferred. Uh, there were arrangements to move further patients uh, out of the province uh, for the many, many days in order to actually make a difference in terms of uh, moving patients out of this province in order to make space so we could actually uh, provide uh -huh. standard of care uh, in Saskatchewan and resume services, etc. Uh, the government has now in the last two hours um, surprised everyone, including the Saskatchewan Health Authority and all of us here, uh, by uh, cancelling all out-of-province uh, transfers. In fact, most of us have been alerted about this news because our counterparts in Ontario told us we, uh, we are, why our transfer being cancelled. Um, this is a dangerous, dangerous move. Uh, the ICUs are beyond full and care will be compromised people's surgeries will be compromised and cancelled and potentially we're looking at a triage system. The government cannot play politics, cannot put its pride, Scott Moe cannot put his personal pride ahead of the entire province, which is exactly what he just did with cancelling all out-of-province transfers. But Dr. Masri, and we're just learning this news from you, we haven't seen anything from the province officially yet, making that announcement, why would they do that? What would be the reasoning? Have you heard? Well, we have not yet heard any reason. Like I said, we have found out this news from our counterparts in Ontario. This is the irony. This is the communication that we are receiving from our own government. We, we had made all the arrangements to transfer patients tomorrow, Friday and Saturday and Sunday to Ontario. Um, and when we uh, came out of what we were doing and which is taking care of our patients, uh, we were surprised to hear from our counterparts in Ontario. I do not know why this is done, uh, but what I know is that the fact that my ICU and every ICU in this province is beyond capacity, yeah. is beyond safe capacity, and that this move will carry uh, significant risk. Uh, there is no doubt that at this point, uh, surgeries for tomorrow will be canceled um, and that uh, uh, potentially we are looking at a compromised care for the citizens okay. of Saskatchewan. I can't think of anything pr to, to answer your question in short, except pride and politics. Dr. Masri, I'm flat out of time, but I just want to be very, very clear here. Have any patients, COVID compromised patients from Saskatchewan, been transferred to Ontario like they were supposed to be, or are all future transfers cancelled? Six patients by the end of today will have gone to okay. Ontario. 
um, and there was plans for a lot more patients to be transferred, and, and the government has now instructed health authority uh, that there's that no longer is allowed. The program is canceled. Okay. At we least, whether it's permanently or temporarily, that's for the government, but the government is not communicating with anybody about its own decisions. We will look into that. I appreciate your time, as always. Dr. Masri, thank you so much for coming on.